Hello everybody! I'm going to continue some Minecraft. It's been quite a while since I've recorded a video, eh? Um, I, I mean a minded craft video. So, it's been, I've done a lot of things. So I want to do like a little tour. Oh man, so much weird shit has happened to me in the last bit. Let me just tell you about this quick little anecdote. So... I was uh I was going to finally beat the Ender Dragon. And it's like the third time I try to beat him in this file. And uh he freaking I go to I got the sweet enchanted armor, all diamond of course. Like a bunch of golden apples. I just stock up like nobody's biz. And uh okay, first when I went there I got absolutely mauled by Endermen, and I don't even know why that happened. But they utterly demolished me. And so I just ran back, and then the Ender Dragon was, like, broken. He, like, wouldn't function. I couldn't even shoot at him. I tried to shoot at him. He wouldn't do anything. So I looked online on what to do about that. And they said you could... I got corrupted because now I know you can go open the land and change your thing to creative mode. Um... And uh, I tried to see the do weird commands to try to kill the Ender Dragon, but alas, nothing could kill him. He was undefeatable. So I have like a glitch game or something, or maybe it was a fucking update or something. Goddamn 1.9. The only thing I've hardly liked anything from 1.9. But anyways, actually that rant. I also accidentally killed all my animals. So I did some stuff in creative just to restore everything back to normal. I wanted my diamond armor back, and I wanted my animals back. So, I brought them back, and now I'm back to, like, patterns. But I've done a lot since uh, any other videos. This path is going towards this um, sandy mesa. I guess you can kind of... I only have to travel a little bit to show you. Well, I'll eventually get there. But I've just been pouring out lava to try to get this land bridge. Um, and, of course, little landmarks and such. I love, I love standing stone things. I thought music was going to be distracting, but I think I want some music. Yeesh. Yeah, this is fine. Madra's Mask. So let me tour you through my little land so far. So this is as if you were coming from the Sandy Mesa. It's like the place with all the different colored clay and things. We got beautiful land bridges and sights to see on both sides. Don't mind the crafting table right there. Yeah, you just gotta do some hoppy skips. This is still in construction. You got the fiery mess over here. Flower gliding. One pyramid. Two pyramids. <gasps> Giga mesa ba ba da 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 da. So there's my my superplex. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love it so. I think I'm finally starting to polish things out. I've so much stuff has been in construction forever, but now I'm finally nearly close to something that I'm satisfied with. Which then I can expand outwards, perhaps. Right now this is what I got going. I got this wheat farm, it's just like a straight line. Uh, a quartz and glass window with a with a big waterfall. This is a dirt mound on the side that I made up made up, and then big stone tower so this wasn't really built on anything it was just a very tiny mound originally and I've just ex kept expanding I finally found some vines so I've added some vines and I never knew they started growing automatically so they're kinda they're gonna run their course around my base but I had also added this little like river thing it wasn't here before hmm perhaps I should continue it this way this direction what yellow sheep how'd you get out oh and then here's this bunny I'm trying to get breed some bunnies as well. Dude, I don't know if this is one I got out early or something. This music makes this bunny seem really menacing. But yeah, now I also have a corral, which I didn't have before. I was breeding some cows originally, but then I decided I didn't want cows. I don't even know why I wanted cows at the beginning. But now I got colorful sheep and bunnies. My bunny the bunnies aren't down here! Oh, here they are. Come down. Yes! 
Okay, and go mate. All right, so those will start breeding. I don't know if they jump out. I actually left one bunny running around to see if that happens. So we got colored sheep. Oh, and chickens. I'm also breeding chickens over here. Because I like to use eggs and uh, sugar. Oh, chicken died right here. They try to escape, but it is hopeless. What the heck? A tree? Oh, I stopped giving them this path to walk down. Sweet, lots of different colors. I haven't sheared anybody yet. I don't really know what I want to do with the colored stuff. But, uh... Oh, here, the bunny still stayed in. I thought that he might escape. So maybe it would be safe for them to run around, but I at least want them to be able to be breeded. Bred. And I kind of spruced up this garden-y area. I originally had tr regular trees just here, but I cut them all down to try to make mega trees. So I'm making some bigger trees. Um, a nice little garden with the with the animals and such. Um, also another pyramid, naturally. I have my I have my style, which is pyramids all the time, every day. Oh, from here you can actually see the other. I, it was a waterfall thing, but it must have frozen up or something because it's not pouring water. Okay, now we can kind of look at my, my main base thing here. So I like this design for lanterns, so I'm going to keep doing that. As I was talking about the vines, I only put like a couple and now they're starting to grow everywhere, which is a pretty good look. Um, there's a bit on the top that I still need to do something with. It's just kind of hard to do construction really high up. Uh, like that, that. There's a hole right there. So that needs to be, something needs to be done with that. Maybe it should be glass or something. But I also need to put some, like, I think this top right here needs to be glass because I have another wheat garden down there and that needs to have sunlight to be able to do its thing. So here's an entrance. Um, oh, this is the stairway I need to make right here. But, uh, hey, you see my pumpkins in the window. But this is where my actual stuff is in this, like, thing. Which actually, now that I'm looking at it, I think it needs some more girth on the top right there as it goes out. I originally tried poking it out of the side but I didn't like how it looked. Um, as far as stone, I have the stone stuff kind of go straight and angled while the dirt is supposed to be kind of organic I guess you could say. Another garden over there was just carrots and beets and stuff. Oh, I need to get rid of that piece of glass. I got a piece of glass in my ass. Oh, we get it. Oh, cool. So, it's kind of the thing to do now is with bridges. And there's some wheat. It's coming along. I just planted it pretty recently. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Yes, it's broken. I'm just harvest some of this wheat here. I need to add some lily pans in between so I can go without jumping and destroying the, the land here. Yeah, so that means that needs some light right there. So like over here, so I, I guess I should just continue this window to keep going up. There's a bit of glass area over there. Oh, even glass right here. Maybe I could even make it all connect. That would be kind of cool. It's like a strip. A strip of glass that goes all the way around. It might be nice. I do have a strip of glass, like right here. It goes all the way up to the top. Uh, yeah, too much glass is, is, is not attractive to me in this game, but just the right amount can make something like that. Oh, I, well, the land will grow right here, so I'll just jump. Oh, it didn't break it. Wheat is actually a tough commodity because I, I needed to breed all the sheep. And I get I run out all the time. And we'll do that really quick. Do some breeding. Oh, yeah, this is only this is my nether portal. I eventually want to have a nether portal path to kind of skip around. 
I also need to find a freaking jungle. Well, I don't need to find a jungle, but I've never found a jungle and I've walked really far. I've explored long distances. Um, this is like a water canal to come into my base. So oh, this still needs some work too. Um, as far as the tour, um, here's my main, little main area right here. Uh, you can walk out here to see kind of everything. Although this is like just temporary. You can also look for it really far down. I need to kind of hack away at this, I think, a little bit. The edges. Make it more deep. I don't know, I'm not so apt about this type of water flow. It's kind of just like spilling all over the place, so that might need some editing as well. Um, so you got everything kind of labeled here. We got organics here. We got stuff that falls, falls from mobs. Um, my ores and, and such. Uh, you got your weapons. You got tools. Got armors. Wood. Wood crafts. Um, other crafts. Paper goods. Uh, unique blocks. Uh, those, those two. This is stone stuff and then just raw cobblestone. Also have just nether wart right here and then potions. You can also go down this little stairwell, and this is where the crafting table is. So you craft right here. It's really fun. Um, this is another. There's lots of entrances and exits. What was I gonna do? I think I was gonna. I was gonna feed what wheat I have to to breed the sheep. I might have it on peaceful mode right now. Yeah. I was just, now that I've edited, now I've tampered with the game, I just, I don't mind messing with things now. Which, yeah. I don't really give a shit anymore. It's my game. Alright. Lots of eggs. So we'll breed some of this pink sheep. I'm trying to think if there's any other colors that I'm missing. I mean, I don't know. I went through like a flowery place. And uh, I, there's only a few colors in the flower biome. So I don't know if I'm where I could find other colors. It's good to be out here at night so I can see where the light is kind of hitting. Make sure there's, I don't want monsters to kill all my, my, my flam animals. Oh my God, I just realized I just totally have some iron golems in here, just in case. unnecessarily intense music. I guess there's not that many white sheep. I've kind of phased a lot of them out. Make sure they keep breeding. Oh, there's a cow here? Thought I killed all of you back in the genocide of Cowtopia. Oh shit. Sorry, Mr. Cow. Um, I guess I'm just gonna put shit right on the ground. I should make some cool lamps over here too. I wish I could just make cool lamps everywhere, but it's just glowstone is hard to come by. Yeah, if there's a way to make a, a torch into a cool, an aesthetically pleasing um, fixture, then I would do that. But alas, yeah, this is another structure right here. Um, all the pyramids are different too. They all have different proportions and different. Angles and such. Cool, it looks pretty cool at night too. It's not very limited. Oh, I didn't show you all the way up. Let's go all the way up. Hey, okay. I might fight some monsters. Nah, I'll just go to sleep. I want to make more rooms way high up too. There's not much space. It's pretty thin once you go high up. But a little bit higher up, there's there's a lot more space. So like most of it to be just open, so you can look up it. But really, you can't really. There's nowhere you can really look that high up. And look, there's even like clouds that cover that area. But it gets a little treacherous when you're going really high up. So here's a. 
Here's the kind of main stairwell. This is where you can just drop into the water. This is another way you can go up. Little windows. Oh, I need, you know, I should bring some glass because I know I need to patch up. Oh, look at that. To patch up some glass up there. Oh, finally, this, this place wasn't very, this whole kind of area was just gobbledygook. So I, I cleaned it all up. And now you can actually access everything from different angles, which is useful. And then I added this, this is like an under, well after I added the water, I kind of messed with how things were, so I have it like this. It's pretty cool, a lot of a lot of different ways to go through areas differently and see different perspectives, and that's kind of what I focus on. I kind of just like the interior design elements of the game. Oh yeah, I was going to get glass. I like this color green to this red, but I don't know, I don't like the fact that it is bush. Maybe we should come up with a different design for that. Cook some meat. I have a lot of random crap on me. Just deposit some of my stiff. Get some glass here and some pit glass panes. Maybe I need some glowstone just in case. Um, oh, my microphone's super low. Sorry if it's like super noisy right now. What the heck? Okay, this should be better. And we'll cook some glass too. Deposit some extra iron. Should I make iron golems? I don't know that it's actually useful. My first, I first made this huge gate around my whole base. Intended to keep iron golems around to bust up monsters. But uh, they all disappeared. All my iron golems. So I was like, fuck that. Like, I used so much, so much freaking iron to make those guys. Got lots of Janko lanterns and plenty of iron, so I probably could do quite a few. Yes, I love having windows on all the corners and stuff. You can see the little, all the other pyramids. There's also a pyramid way far in the distance. We'll uh, increase the render distance so we can see that. Okay, well, I'll look when I'm higher up. Uh oh, it's starting to go slow. Oh, there's a little hole right there. There's a bunch of holes. Shit. So I feel like I can do something with this, like, area. This is all the dirt. I can maybe just make, like, a floor right here. And then it's just another room. Not, like, a room I would actually use or anything. Got, like, a little patio right here. Kind of nice. See my oh, I've never seen my uh, my pasture corral from a pie or even this whole area. See, I've had this huge view for so long, but I never had anything to really look at. So it's nice to have something. It looks really cute. It actually, looks pretty small from way up here. And even that structure looks really small, even though it looks really big on the close up. So I also have the water wheel thing right here. A uh, rail that was gonna go to these these other farms I have. Um, oh, am I on top? Yeah, I am on top. The cloud is covering the rest of the height. So there's these orange blocks on top. Maybe we can make it like a rainbow pillar on top. I don't that'd be too cheesy. Oh, I want to patch up these holes. Oh, it, that's not a hole. Whoa! I think it's better like this. I guess it'd be nicer to have it as glass. Ah, whatever. That's good enough. 
I've always had trouble with this stairway. I don't like how it is, but I haven't been able to figure out a way to go around it. Like I did made this thing to the side. Whatever. Are the pyramid gonna load? This one's a really oddly shaped pyramid in the distance. Come on, baby. Okay, we'll go super, super far. And then, uh, also go a deeper field of view. Yeah, there's, this just goes, this is a huge ocean, if you keep going this way, which is really sweet. I love the location I started on, just like this beach that has this huge ocean, and then a really traversable landmass on the northern side. So this is pretty much south, this is south, that way. Um, so yeah, it's like an oddly shaped pyramid, and then this little land bridge right here, it leads to this, um, those underwater temples, those ones with the scary monsters and everything. I don't know what the heck these little blocks are right here. These are weird. I kind of figured you'd be able to see the underwater temple, but can't. Can't bring it back to normal. Oops. I turned Bobby on. I'm going to do 12. Okay. See, so yeah, I guess. Okay, this is where clouds are. So there's all this open space I could potentially use. Possibly. Like, maybe this could be, like, something. I just don't know. I just don't know what these rooms would be. They'd probably just be kind of pointless. Just rooms for the sake of being a room. But I wouldn't mind that. It's just nice to give it content. Can't see anything because of the freaking clouds. Oh, wow, all these holes. It's all from, like, creepers. It's pretty much the worst thing I hate about creepers, is the fact that they make holes. Okay, should I do this extremely risky stuff? Yes, I should. Okay, I need some stone right here. I found out you can, if you pour water right when you land, you can, you can be safe, which sounds very difficult. Okay, this, this little leap right now that I'm about to do is going to be extremely risky. Oh, yes. Okay. Cool. I want to f complete this for so long. Okay, we need some stone. Oh. Would that obstruct at all? I'm just gonna do that like that. I'm just gonna make some temporary blocks so I can get on top. And then that. Although well, this is like this. Oh. Uh, I had to clear a lot of blocks I added. Is this a ledge that I actually walk on? I don't know what this is. But we're gonna do that. <laughs> this one, I don't think this, okay, I don't even need to go down there. Okay, now I need to add glass right there. Should have perhaps brought more stone. I didn't realize I'd be needing it. Uh, I should be careful about what blocks I just randomly kill. Wow, this is like a whole ledge right here. It's crazy. Okay, cool. So this is the very top right here. Very scary. 
looks so cool from up high. Well, I need to fill out the emptiness, but I don't have nearly enough stone to do that right now. Yeah, I just don't know what to do with this, because you need to be able to walk up this. But... Oh, God. But it would have to come extruding off the edge in order to do that, which I guess I'm just going to have to do. There's no choice about it. You know it's really cool, I'm going to have to decrease the rendering distance. Um. Risky risk, I should equip water. Try to do the trick that I've never done before and see if I can pull it off in case I fall. Now that the Ender Dragon blunder kind of happened, I don't really, really care about collecting uh, experience points. I'm going to keep these low so I can, when I come back, I can... Yeah, oh, oh shit. I'm going to have to get more stone. I don't even need all this glass. I mean, I can make this glass, but who cares? Let's see here. Oh yeah, I need to clear the extra stuff I add in. Oh. Because being here at night is a good test to see. Okay, that shouldn't be like that anymore. There. Smoothing things out, you know. Sweet. This could be glass, because that'd be kind of cool. Oh, you can still see the sun. Could I? <laughs> I've overestimated my jumping capability off this tower many a time. The bridge looks awesome over here. You know, I want the bridge is a little too simple for me. I want some sort of flair added. Pumpkins. This place looks really cool at night. Yeah, I wish I had more stone. Let's go all the way down. Yes, I'll probably. Well, this needs to be filled in too. But this, this stairwell goes like that, and I want it to be too wide. I mean, two blocks wide. So I'm probably also have to kind of protrude on the side, which is okay. I think aesthetically that'll actually look pretty okay. Uh, oh, here's something I already glass. I like all the edges to be glass. There we go. Nice. I think that's what I was thinking when... Oh, I need to finish this thing up here. A little strip. Oh. I'm gonna get rid of any... Oh, shit. <laughs> Construction in really high heights is dangerous. Yeah, I feel like this should be at least some glass. A tall window. Maybe one less. And that's to kind of signify how you're like leaving the edge. Oh, this is probably filled in. Oh, it's probably gonna be completely different. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I need to go to the top. I know. Oh, is there. 
There's a stair piece over there. Probably was like an old stairway I had. Or at least just want to fill in the blocks. Okay, this should be easier to, to fill in when I need to. Okay, where's where does the glass go? Glass go. Okay, it's this side, okay? So it's like right, it's somewhere over here. I don't, oh my god. Oh, it's still pretty high up. Oh shit, I have that, okay. It's that right there. Okay. Ooh. 